Hi, welcome to all about mechanical engineering. For today's video, we will discuss a question of rejection of planes, which is regarding circular plate, also called as circular lamina. In this, we will discuss two conditions that is, toffee of diameter inclined to VP or diameter is inclined to VP. Now, these two are different conditions. What's the difference? In order to understand, we have to discuss both the cases side by side. Let's take an example. A circular plate of 80 mm diameter and negligible thickness rests in HP on its rim such that one of its diameter is inclined at 45 degree to HP. Draw the projections of the circular plate. When? First condition, top view of diameter makes 30 degree with VP. And second condition, diameter makes 30 degree with VP. Now, let's write down the given data. First thing, circular plate of diameter 80 mm. Then, rest in HP on its rim such that one of its diameter is inclined at 45 degree to HP. So it gives us resting position in HP and theta equals to 45 degrees. Then top view of diameter makes an angle of 30 degree. This means beta equals to 30 degree. And second diameter makes 30 degree with VP. That means here we are discussing phi equals to 30 degree. Now as for the given conditions resting is on HP and theta equals to 45 degrees. This is the angle with the surface. So here as the angle with the surface is with HP, true shape will be visible in top view. Now let us draw the actual 2D solution in order to understand better. XY line, taking a horizontal line parallel to XY with a distance. This distance you have to take more than the radius of the circle. So here, Radius will be 40 mm, so let us take this as 50 mm. Then draw a circle. Now, we have divided this circle into 8 parts. Now, this is for our convenience, so you can either divide it into 8 parts or 12 parts. I have chosen to divide it into 8 parts. Name them in order to have better understanding when we project. I have started from A and clockwise in this direction. Then you have to take the projectors up as it is given resting on its rim on HP. So the first true shape will be directly on XY line corresponding front few points. Second step, we always take the surface angle. Surface angle is 45 degrees, taking a point A dash. Theta equals to 45 degrees, drawing a line. Now taking A dash to E dash in compass, keeping it here and cutting it. So you have obtained the line. Now this is our second front view. Now you have to take A dash to C dash in compass. Keep compass at this position. Cut it. If you draw everything here correctly, you will find from C to B dash and C dash to T dash, these distances are same. So you have to keep compass, take this as radius, keep your compass here and cut on either sides. Now naming the points, taking the projectors down. So from A dash, I have taken projector. Here it is on this line. So this is our A1. Then we take another projector. And here it is the intersection point of B. So this is B1. Similarly, third projector and the intersection as this point. So this is C1. Again, another projector, we get here B and D on the same line, this is the projector of D, so it is D1. Then this is E1, intersection F1, G1 and H1. Just join this in sequence. Here you have to remember, never join only two points, you have to join maximum points possible. So what is the trick? Complete quarter of the circle, that is here it will be appearing as an ellipse quarter of it at one time. So joining these three points, next three, then next three and completing it. This will ensure that there is no corner in your top view. Then we have to incline. As per the given A condition, beta equals to 30 degree. Now you have to understand we are talking about diameter AE, which is making an angle of 45 degree width 
HP. Now the same thing, the same diameter here, but top view of diameter is making an angle of 30 degree. So this is actual diameter AE and the top view is A1, E1. So here 30 degree should be made by A1, E1. So I have taken A1, drawn a line at beta equals to 30 degrees. Now encompass A1 to E1 distance, keeping compass at A1, cutting an arc, naming it as E1. Then taking the center line, this is, we are talking about this line. I have drawn it perpendicular to this A1, E1. And taking distance in your compass equals to from this point to this line, these either side will be having same distance, keeping compass at this location, cutting on either sides. Then drawing two parallel lines to the center line. So we have drawn these three lines, one, two, and three. So these are the lines, okay? Then you have to take compass, keep it here, and take distance from here to B1, and it will be same as from here to H1. Keep compass at this location, cut on either sides. Name it, above point will be B1, below will be H1. Now, the same distance here, B1 to this point and from this point to H1 will be same as from this to D1 and from this to F1. So keeping compass at this location, again cut two arcs, name the points D1 and F1. Then keeping compass at the center line here and taking distance equal to from here to C1, which will be same as from this point to G1, keeping it here, cutting on either sides, then naming them. Now you just have to join all these points with a smooth curve. This is how you obtain. Now taking it up to complete the front view. One point at a time. So I am taking one projector from A1 now and here it is on XY line. So this is the point. Going in sequence, B1, here it is on this line. So this is intersection point, B1 dash. Then with C, here it is in the middle. So it is C1. Then with D and projector from previous view, we get intersection D1 dash. Then from E, this is at the topmost position, E1 dash. Then F is on the same line as of D from the previous front view, here F1 dash. Then G1 dash and H1 dash. Join these all points in the sequence with a smooth curve. This completes your condition number A. So in examination, only up to this condition is mentioned, only A is mentioned, this completes your solution. But in examination, if A is not given and B is asked, what makes the difference? As we can draw here another condition side by side, we can compare. So let us draw condition B now. Take a point A1, take line at 30 degree phi. Now here it says 30 degree is made with the diameter. So here you have to keep A, E, on this line at an angle 30 degree. Cut it, name it as E. Now draw a locus. Then on the same locus, take compass, A1 to E1 in your compass, keep it at A1 here, cut on the locus, join it, name the point E1. Now as you can see, here this is an angle beta which is always greater than phi. Here, beta was 30 degree whereas here beta is more than 30 degree. Now locate the center of A1 even now. Now forget about this line AE. The part of this line was to locate the actual position of A1 even because here beta was not known to us. So this is the center line. Then again taking this distance in compass here this distance. This are same keeping compass here cutting on either sides. Then drawing parallel lines to the center line. Again, the same procedure from the center to B1 and from center to H1, the distances are same. Four distances are same from this point to B1, from
from here to h1 from this to d1 and from here to f1 so keeping your compass here at this position now cutting on either sides naming them b1 h1 now keeping the compass at this location cutting on either side naming it as d1 f1 now from the center to c1 and from the center to g1 the distances are same keeping compass here cutting on either sides c1 and g1 you have located all the points you just have to join them in sequence you will obtain this as the top view now taking the projectors up do not take all the projectors at the same time take one after another so first projector going by sequence a1 here it is on the xy line a1 dash then from b1 here it is b1 dash because here you have B on this line then C is on this line so this is the intersection point then you have D point E F G and finally H join them in sequence with a smooth curve no corner should be there so this is your condition A if only condition A is mentioned this is your first step, second and third step. So this completes your solution. But if A is not mentioned, B is mentioned, then first and second remains same. These two stages are same. And for B, you will not draw this stage. You will directly draw this one. I have taken here both in order to make you understand what's the difference. By side by side comparison, you can get an idea. Here the beta is 30 degree. Here beta is more than 30 degree because your phi is 30 degree. Hope you have enjoyed the video. If you haven't subscribed my channel yet or you are new to my channel then please don't forget to subscribe it. Like and share my videos with your friends. Thank you for watching.